Greetings, my awesome future study abroad students. <laughs> my name is Dave Thomas, and I wanted to take a couple of seconds to talk to you a little bit about the Sun Devils in Prague internship and study abroad program. Prague is a magnificent city. Um, if you've ever been there, you know this. If you haven't, um, I can tell you that it is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, smack dab in the heart of Europe. So it's a great uh, central location in order to be able to travel all over Central, Eastern, and Western Europe as well. Um, it's absolutely magnificent. The culture uh, of the Czech people is amazing. Um, it's just such a fantastic place to be able to have an opportunity to live for a period of time and to uh, get a sense of how folks work over there by working uh, in an organization in Prague. Um, it's in, as far as the study abroad program goes, um, it's a seven week program, so it's fairly lengthy. Um, it runs from mid-June through late July. If you hit up the study abroad application page, you'll see details on dates and stuff like that uh, once the application's open. The first week of the program is generally kind of an orientation week. We have some class sessions, uh, some cultural orientation activities. You'll have an orientation to internships, expectation setting about what to expect, how to work most effectively with people in the Czech culture. Um, we'll have some activities and all kinds of cool stuff. Then during weeks two to week seven, uh, the remainder of the program, your internships are typically Mondays through Thursdays. That generally gives students a three-day weekend to explore around and do what they would like to do. Um, sometimes, depending on the type of internship, those hours may be a little bit different. Those days may be a little bit different. But in general, that's what we shoot for. Um, also, during the week, uh, on week two to week seven, we have a number of evening class sessions as well that you'll be attending. Um, I want to say a couple of words about internships. One of the great things about a long format internship based program is you can, uh, you know, put some really valuable uh, bullet points on your resume. So it really does help in terms of uh, competing with other people once you graduate, differentiating yourself from folks who might also be applying for the same job as you. International work experience says a lot more than other types of work experience in terms of your ability to be flexible, in terms of your ability to work effectively with people who think. And, and maybe behave differently than you do. Um, it's just a whole host of transferable skills that employers look for and a great opportunity to talk about that uh, in an interview kinds of situations. Um, Transferable skills are some of the most important skills that employers are looking for. Um, one of the courses that we'll do over there actually focuses a lot on career readiness, career preparation, leveraging your internship experiences and your time abroad to help you be more effective in your job search and looking for that perfect career. Um, it's one of the things that I do really well, uh, career counseling and coaching, and I work with students individually over there in Prague to whatever extent you would like, uh, and in some formal ways in the courses as well to help prepare you for uh, you know, using this experience to the best of your advantage, in addition to having a miraculous and amazing time while you're there. Um, another aspect of the internships is really gives you an opportunity to have a deeper perspective and worldview and develop personal leadership skills. Some of the most important aspects of a program like this is uh, that students tell me when the program is finished is, wow, I feel so much more sort of confident in my abilities and so much more capable in terms of being able to work with a diverse array of different kinds of people and different kinds of organizations and different kinds of organizational structures. And it's these personal leadership skills that I think really are some of the most important aspects of a program. Internship opportunities are across the board, you know, in a number of different fields. Uh, Prague has been one of the best cities that I've found. I've been running internship-based programs in four countries now, in uh, the Czech Republic, in Ireland. I started the Dublin Internship and Study Abroad program, which is still going strong today and also a great program. Um, I also ran an internship-based program in London for a number of years and an internship-based program in Italy for a number of years. And through all of those different programs, I believe that the consistency of, of and quality of internships in Prague is probably some of the best that we've seen, which is fantastic. Dublin is really awesome too. Uh, I think all of our programs have great internship opportunities, but Prague is excellent by virtue of the fact that the economy is really strong. And that said, you know, we've had a hiatus for two years um, because of COVID. 
Um, so it's going to be a year where everybody's going to have to be a little bit flexible and kind of just see how the economy is reemerging. Everything I've read and heard is really positive. In general, internships in business and marketing related areas are kind of the bread and butter. Uh, communication related areas um, are also very common. So things like marketing, public relations, promotions, event planning, uh, general business kinds of internships, um, generally in smaller kinds of companies. So there's some entrepreneurial uh, kinds of uh, uh, characteristics to a lot of the internships that students find really interesting. Um, there are a number of technology related internships over there, especially web, uh, software, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you've got those skills in particular, uh, they'll be in demand over there for sure. There's a number of internships across a number of different kinds of nonprofits or NGOs. Uh, again, it kind of depends on your interests, um, but we've placed students in a number of really good nonprofit organizations over there, and they've been awesome. There are some internships in all arts and culture, not as many as you might think, because there tend to be language barriers in that field, and also likewise in science, engineering, uh, and things like supply chain. Uh, generally, we have, had, we have placed students in those fields, uh, uh, and, and sometimes we're successful at it, but I would tend to say, you know, those are the areas that we have a hardest time placing students. So if you're particularly interested in science, engineering, supply chain, and finance, uh, I would throw into that mix as well, then you're probably going to want to um, think very carefully about whether or not this program is right for you. Um, there's a good chance we can find you an internship in one of those fields, but there's also a good chance that you might have to be a little bit flexible in terms of internships and keep in mind, you know, some of the most important criteria for why you would do an internship based program. And speaking of those criteria, here's some things that I think are important for you to think about. First of all, the opportunities, the, the internship opportunities in terms of the types of work that you're doing uh, and maybe your level of, of like engagement and responsibility are a function to some degree on your background and skills in that field that you're interested in, as well as the field that you're interested in, uh, the kind of placement that you want. Um, so we will place anybody regardless of your, um, your work experience, right? Um, some people in this program come with absolutely no work experience at all. That's fine. Some of you come with some really great work experience. And that's awesome, too, because it gives the folks who are helping you find a placement over there um, more tools, you know, in their toolbox when they're talking to different companies about bringing you on. Internships are individualized on each individual person's basis. So based on your own particular interests and skills and background, um, we're going to try and find you an internship that very specifically suits you. It's very much a customized process. Internships also are more about developing intercultural competencies and transferable skills skills than they are about discipline specific skills okay so keeping in mind that these internships are a great opportunity regardless of field to help you understand how to work more effectively with others across contexts and to develop some of these skills that I was discussing earlier they're so important employers these days what's the most important thing that you need to have in mind for an internship um a positive attitude and flexibility are key. You know, cultural humility is also key. We'll talk a lot about uh, how to be successful at your internships at the pre-departure meeting, but uh, in general, you need to keep in mind that internships are definitely, you know, more about the intercultural aspects uh, and, and working with the Czech people is phenomenal, but also has its challenges, you know, and it requires flexibility and a positive attitude and a, and a can-do, kind of a, an assertive sort of a perspective uh, when you're coming into organizations, some of which may have never had an intern before. Part of your job might be teaching them how to most effectively use you. In terms of the academics, the program's open to all majors across all ASU campuses. It's six upper division credits. Uh, in terms of those credits for interdisciplinary studies students, organizational leadership students, uh, and global studies students, you can get core core course credit within your major, not elective credit. Others uh, in different majors, you may be getting elective credit. Just kind of depends on your major and um, and um, we can talk more about that when we have our interview, assuming that you apply for the program. I'm really flexible with honors contracts. I love to offer honors contracts for students. Um, so um, if you're a Barrett student, um, there are going to be plenty of opportunities for you to fulfill honors contract obligations with myself or with one of my colleagues who will be joining me on the program. Um, a lot of uh, degrees also have, uh, you know, like core 
uh, core opportunities to do internships. And we've had some success with other majors in terms of getting like a cross-listing internship credit. Um, we've done this for, with marketing, for example, in past years, uh, technical writing, and a couple of other, uh, couple of other fields, as, uh, majors as well. So you just may want to talk to me about that um, if you're from another major, about sort of cross-listing kinds of opportunities uh, and how to most effectively, you know, how to make those credits that you're taking over there count most effectively toward your own academic goals. Um, the program this year, I'm bringing up to 26 students. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what my exact final numbers are going to be. We're going to most likely be doing two out of three of these excursions. These are, are generally on Fridays. Um, so for at least a couple, two or three of the Fridays that we're over there, we're going to have some awesome full day uh, excursions. I generally like my excursions to focus on nature because there's so much culture in Prague and some, so much culture and other things we're doing. So um, all three of these have a strong sort of nature component. Pro pro outside of Prague are some of the most beautiful places you can imagine. And uh, so yeah, I like to use the uh, excursion opportunities to do, to do some things that you maybe wouldn't ordinarily do on your own. Um, that's about it for right now. Um, of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, send me an email. I am uh, really excited for the application process to open for 2022. That should be happening uh, toward the end of October or possibly in early November. And um, once applications go live, I will be interviewing students individually. There is a ton of demand this year for this program. So if you wanted my best suggestion, my best suggestion would be get your application in as soon as the applications go live and then be a little patient with me because I have a feeling that about 100 applications are gonna hit my desk um, the first week that applications go live. Um, and I'm only taking 26 students. So I'm gonna try and work my way through and interview students in as expeditious of a process as I, as I can. And uh, some of you may have to kind of wait until I've had a chance to go through everybody to give folks a, 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 a real opportunity to, uh, you know, to apply and to treat everybody equally and all of that. I want to make sure I get a really good group um, and um, and I want to make sure that I, I give everybody an opportunity to do this. Um, if for some reason you don't make it onto the Prague program, I'm a really good clearinghouse of information for other programs or some other fantastic programs that do similar kinds of things. And I can coach you about those and all that stuff as well. But the most important thing is to get your application in as soon as possible and be really pro proactive in the process of getting an interview scheduled with me and uh, getting all of your uh, materials, you know, filled out at the study, through the study abroad website and uh, all of that kind of stuff. More information on that when the time comes. Again, welcome. I look forward to working with you guys this uh, this summer over in Prague. Uh, and uh, I'm really excited about the 2022 season. It's been two long years that I've been without my Prague program and I've missed it deeply. Um, so I'm looking for an awesome group of students in 2022 to come over with and uh, we'll have a fantastic time. It'll be such a great learning opportunity for you. Thank you so much. And I really, really, really appreciate talking to you. Um, yeah, cheers. Talk to you soon.